there's, there's, a, there's a promise of the job. That tall woman, yes. Come out, yes. God wants to give you a job. He will make you to be independent. You hear me? Amen. Yeah, because you, want, you, 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 you wish to build a house. Yes, yes, uh, man of God. There, there's a desire. You say, no, at home, things are like this. Yes. I want to build a house. Yes, daddy. Uh, for the family. Go will fight for you. Amen. You hear me? Let Amen. you receive a better job. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. You give us a testimony. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaranisa. And standing with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon her life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Zini Kunundu. I'm from Tembisa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, Daddy prophesied me. He said I will get a better job. Right now I'm working, but uh, I'm not happy at all. So I'm, I'm struggling to do some other things. As he said to me, Daddy, that I want to build a house for my family. Um, and I'm the only one who's working in the family. So everything depends on me. And how long have you been trusting in God for a breakthrough like this that the man of God mentioned? Um, early this year, because I just got a job last year, December, so I've been trusting God that um, he can make it um, maybe before the end of this year. Amen. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you before the year ends and he ministered upon your life? Yo, I'm so happy because I've been, I've been trusting God and I've been praying. So he confirmed today that I will get a better job. So I, I'm very happy. Things will change in my family as uh, the Apostle said that. Amen. I just want to pray for you, sister. Come to me, the one who's wearing black. I want to congratulate you, you are here. You hear me? Yeah, because many people, they don't want you to come here. Yes. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. They're discouraging you. They say, why you are here? Yes. And nothing is working for you. Yes. Huh? Yes. I want to congratulate you. You are still here. They will see God blessing you here. Amen. I, go, go there. Move. Move. I pull your enemies down. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will fall this year. In fact, uh, in my heart, I'm praying that those who compete you, they will be surprised you are in front of them. That is my prayer. The, my prayer is you people here, you have been competed. And those people who are competing you, they have to glorify your God. Yes, Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Oh, my name is Mielan from Tembisa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Oh, during the course of the service, man of God located me and told me that the people were discouraging me to come to this church, which is very true. Yeah, because people are discouraging me, are asking questions, why are you still going to church? Because there's nothing that is working in your life, there's nothing moving, which is very true. Everything, like I'm not working, I'm trying to look for a job, I'm not getting a job. Yeah, so people are discouraging me, why are you still going there, whereas there's nothing working for you? And how has that affected you? It has affected me a lot because there are expenses to pay. I have to pay rent, like everything is a struggle. But I believe today that the man of God has prayed for me. Everything is over and everything now is going to start to move forward. Yeah. It's like I'm pointing on your stomach. Be healed, you sister. Be healed. Be healed. I'm pissing this thing that is. Can you bring her out? You feel something biting you. Huh? That's very true. Inside the stomach. Mm. It's like it's eating you. Huh? And that's why you are dreaming snakes. Yeah? That's why when you sleep, you see a snake. 
Huh? That's true. This thing must come out of you. You are going to have a urine that will come out. You have a serious urine here. That will come out. It's going down, it's going down. When you leave you here, you go, you go to the toilet. You rush to the toilet. Leave her, leave her. She wants to go there now. That thing is, come down there. Come down there in Jesus' name. Rise up. How do you feel down there? I feel like it's empty. It's like it's empty. Soon, here, yeah, we need to monitor you. You are going to run to the toilet. Soon. Let's allow her to sit here. I want to see her standing up, running to the toilet. If I don't see you running out here, I have to pray for you because they put something inside you when you asleep. Watch her. Watch her. In Jesus' name. Yeah, it's there. Uh -huh. Until you go to the toilet, it will come out, this thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch her now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Arise. Open a space for her. Open a space. Let her go there. Let her go there. Ah. Can you see where she's going? Yeah, it's not me. I say, can you see her where she's going? Even you, your miracle must happen right now. I say, your miracle must happen right now. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Nidzi Marobele and I'm coming from Pretoria. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Can you please tell us what he said and please confirm it? Uh, man of God said, I have a pain here, which is very true. I always feel a serious pain here. So, yeah, that's what he said. And how long have you been experiencing this pain and how has it affected you? I don't remember, but it was long. Yes. And how has it affected I, I, I don't know for now what I can say because when I'm sleeping or when I'm going to periods, I feel so much pain and I don't know what is it. Yes. And did you maybe try consult with the doctor? Were you given any diagnosis? No, I don't remember going to the doctor. Yes, I always try as God that one day I'll get healed. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located this case and ministered upon your life? I feel so much blessed and I feel so healed. Now I feel so light in my stomach because I was always feeling something here. Yes, so now I'm free and I thank God for that. I want God to anoint you and use you. Let it start where you are here. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. All day, all day for me. All day for me in Jesus' name. Congratulations. Soon you'll be going to help your husband. Come here. I want to anoint these ladies. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Yes, we have married you. You must flow in our spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. God must give you wisdom. Look where she's going. They're, leave them. Leave them. They have... They are receiving one thing. Leave them. There's a lady that side who's wearing stripes, issues, and there's a pain this side of a womb. Black and white something there. Here, yeah, on the side. Here. Yeah. Let her come. That side there. Come. This woman come, yes. Come, sister. You can stop there. You feel something here. This thing is an attack. You will be healed today. You hear me? Take it in the name. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You are free. You are free. Sister, rise up. 
because of your heart, this spirit must leave you. You feel something here. Let me hear. Can you just I must not pray with these people? I could not even tell that lady where they pay. Are you here, my sister? Where are you feeling pain? Yes. On the side here. Yes. Yes. There's a pain there. So I stop that pain in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. There's a spirit there. Come on! Please, you must hold this lady. She, she looks she, she, like she's pregnant. If I, hold her. Because that thing wants to come to the leg. I don't know whether they want to hit her with a stroke. For what good reason? I don't know. But God said I must pray with her. It must not happen. Well, this thing here is, I see it going to, down to the leg. Like this. I don't know. It must come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, you spirit. Eh? What are you doing to her? Eh? No. What have you done to her? What, what is it that you put on the side? Because if we don't deliver this lady, we have a problem. Looks like she have to bleed. That's what I'm saying. We don't bleed. 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 If we don't pray for her. In Jesus name. Amen. Come out from this leg. You have entered the leg. No. Huh? Eh? Come out. There's a lady there. Can you come here sister? Yes. I'm calling you because of what is happening to your ears. Uh, Come out from those ears. In the name of Jesus, leave her. Amen. I want to see where she's going. If you can put a mic also on her. Yes. This thing that enters here, it likes you want to move with your leg. Yes, I have huh? a strange pain going down into my leg. I can't hear you. I do have a strange pain going down into it my leg. It goes to your leg. Yes. Huh? yes. And I was hearing that you, you bleed if you are not prayed for. So today you are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are, listen, sister, you are innocent. You, you are innocent. But there are many things around you. So go fight for you. Amen. I stop this thing in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Yes, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Hi, my name is Mukonde Ratundo. I come from Boxbeck. Today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. All right. Um, JD Apostle called me out from where I was seated. So he was telling me about the pain that I'm feeling on my womb going to my leg. And I confirm it to be true because... I struggle with this pain like almost every month when I'm about to see my period. I have this strange pain that's go down and it's very painful. Sometimes I can't even move. So I thank God for today that at least my problem is solved. And how long have you been experiencing this particular pain and how has it affected you? No, it has been long. I think since my youth, because I thought it was period pain or something like that. But now that it's going down to my leg, because when I step down, I can feel the strong pain on my leg. So I'm like, I think this thing is serious now because it's no longer about period pain. But now Daddy has located it. I'm so grateful and I thank God for today. Amen. There's a lady here. Come. God will fight for you from this disappointment. Jesus. Because, Thank you, Jesus. Because you, are, you, you were disappointed Thank as, you, Jesus. by someone. Thank you, Jesus. Come, come in. Move forward. Let me touch you here. Stop there. You must go and rejoice. You are blessed. You must go and rejoice. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, life, a, Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Comfort Mavura and I come from Venda. I'm originally from Venda. 
Today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Can you please tell us what, what he said and please confirm it? Um, I'm here to confirm a prophecy that the man of God, the Apostle, has said that I've been disappointed in my life. Someone has disappointed me. However, God will fight for me. Yes. Can you just take us through the disappointment to confirm it? Um, okay, I would um, speak in, um, in relationships. I would always be disappointed. I would always be having maybe, okay, one partner will come and put my hopes up high and just end up being disappointed. But yes, that is what the man of God was talking about. And how did that affect you? Um, well, um, it did affect me because I felt like I know that the Bible says that, uh, you know, God will actually bring you a helper to heaven, but I would not know when and where God would bring me someone. But that is in the past because now I do have someone that I'm with. Yes. And how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? Oh, well, I've always trusted God for marriage since I was young. It's something that I've always prayed for. I was brought up from a very Christian and prayerful family. And that, that has always been in my mind that, you know what, God will do something for me. And everything that I do, I know that it, it, it revolves around me trusting in God. So I don't think there is ever a time that I can say it has been from this time or this year. That's how I've, I was brought up. That's how I, I've, I've, yeah, that's how I've been brought up. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? Um, I feel very great. I feel very happy that I know that God has located me and God is working in my life. And that is making me very happy that even the person that I'm with now will actually fulfill his promises. I, I thank God for that. There's a brother there whose feet sometimes becomes cold. This brother. Yes. You, you feel your feet cold. Yeah, the left one. Eh? On my left side. It becomes cold. Yeah. Eh? It's true. And you don't know the cause. I don't know what the cause Even is. when you sleep in the blanket, you, you begin to feel, uh, you're feeling something like it's becoming dry. Yeah, you are right. Eh? You are right. So, so today God. you are free. This thing they put in your leg must leave you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is a bad luck. Because everything you do doesn't work. So come here. Let me touch you. So I just want to bless some people. Brother, today things will change for you. God bless you. Yes. Yes, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Eddie. I'm coming from Tembisa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, all what he said was true because I mean, I've been experiencing a problem on my left leg, on my left side, more especially from uh, the sole of my feet. And the two days ago, I, I even applied I mean, um, a rub medicine to try to ease the pain. So, but it didn't because I didn't know what it was all about. But today, as I was driving to church, I told myself, I said, oh God, please, can you locate me? Amen. Yeah, can you locate me? And it happened as it is. Amen. It was a tailor match. And how do you feel that the apostle located you regarding this problem and ministered upon your life? I feel, be I feel very much uh, happy because I now, I mean, I can feel the pain is, is gone. Amen. Yeah, the pain is gone now. Amen. I can even go for training now. I can go return back to football. Amen. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> can you just come out? These people who have denied your money must give you in Jesus' name. Amen. There was a money you're supposed to have received, eh? And Satan blocked it. In Jesus' name. That brother there, you come. The brother there, yes. Where's your wife? She, uh, she's at the back, sir. Huh? She's at the back. You and your wife, you need deliverance. Call your wife. Matapelo. Sister, God loves you. You need deliverance, you with this man. Yes. Strange things are happening in your bed. <laughs> yes. So I remove this attack, this demon from your bed. Huh? What? What I did to him? Huh? 
Can you talk? This month was the month. Huh? This month was the month. It was the month of what? <laughs> there was going to be a funeral. A funeral? He saw death. Huh? He saw death. A month of funeral. Ah, he saw death. He saw death coming to where? To who? <laughs> he saw a spirit of death. Where? Ah, in his room. <laughs> in his room. Yeah, it's either we take him or <laughs> Yes, it will never happen to his bed. It will never happen to his bed. Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah or Jesus? Demons, oh. This demon is lost. Say oh. Jeremiah. What do you say, Jesus? Jeremiah or Jesus? Uh, your master is using you. <laughs> yeah? Your master is using you. So you want to kill someone? <laughs> This month was the month. There is nobody will die on that bed. Ah. Nobody will die on that bed. Ah. Ah. Sister, ah. when you are sleeping, you feel something pressing you on the bed. Yes. Eh? Yes, my Lord. Eh? Yes, because I... they want to kill someone here. You or your husband. No one will die on your bed. Amen. Come out, you demon. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. This demon is defeated. Go and rejoice. Go and rejoice. You must go and rejoice. You must go and rejoice. Lift up your husband is free. He is also shocked. What has happened, brother? The way you wake up here. Uh, brother, what happened? Man of God. What is happening? You see, he's waking up like you are doing push-ups. <laughs> Like you are a character person. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brother, tell us what is happening in your bed. Man of God, um, most of the nights, um, there's something that comes to press me down. It, 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 it happens a lot of time. And there was also a, a, a very sharp pain in my heart. Yes. Yeah, it will come twice. It, it, it was very unbearable, man of God. So your wife didn't tell you the same thing? She, she told me that she had a pain herself on the chest. On the chest? On the chest, yes, sir. So this thing is over. You people here. Thank you, Jesus. You are free forever. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, I greet everyone in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Brighton Mukwena. We from Pretoria. And the lady next to you? Uh, the lady next to me is my wife, uh, Matapel Mukwena. So today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, the man of God, um, he, he approached me and said, uh, where is my wife? Uh, my wife and I need uh, deliverance, which uh, it is true. Uh, we, we've been uh, receiving uh, very strange uh, spiritual attacks uh, in, in, in our life. And um, uh, oftentimes, there would be something that would come uh, and it would press, press me down. I was under the impression that I, I, I could maybe be the target, but I never anticipated that uh, my wife as well was, was, uh, was, was actually experiencing the same attack. So um, uh, until a time that we were praying and then I realized that um, she, 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 she constantly touched her chest. She constantly touched her chest and she was coughing uh, possibly. And um, until she told me that she also has a, a, a pain on her chest because I was experiencing a, a very strange um, ch uh, pains in my heart. And this continued for quite some time until the man of God, Prophet Andres, said to me that um, the devil wanted to kill me. And it brought me a lot of fear because at night I would struggle to sleep thinking that something would often happen to me. Because I'm, I'm looking at my children, I have four boys, very young boys, and I was asking myself that, Lord, but um, if you take me now, what will happen to these young boys? So this was actually a problem to me because of each and every night I would, I would wake up because of a fear in my heart thinking that something would often happen. But God strengthened me throughout the time. So I, I, I really thank God that today the man of God was able to locate the problem that the devil actually wanted to kill either me or my, or, 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 or my wife. So I'm very, very, very grateful because now I can sleep in peace knowing that as, as God has declared it on the altar of Charis Missionary Church, it means that I will live and get to declare the works of the Lord in my life. I would like to praise Jesus for that. We didn't know that I, I also, I'm also in the target. So we'd like to thank God for everything that he has done in our lives and we thank God for the deliverance. Amen. 
And how did that affect you, seeing your husband struggling to sleep? Uh, it was it was a challenge for me. Sometimes I'll try to sit with him, but I, I couldn't. Sometimes I'll just leave him, but it, it was a serious challenge. It was even difficult. He would wake up so early in the morning all the time, and he'd be tired the whole day. Amen. And how do you feel that God finally located your case and the man of God ministered upon your lives? I feel so blessed. I thank God for the grace of Charis because I know if we were not in Charis, I don't know what would have been happening in our lives. So we thank God for Apostle and Mama. Amen. And so how do you feel? I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited because uh, for, 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 for a very long time, I'll get to sleep. I'll get to get a very good night's sleep and uh, knowing that nothing will surely happen to me. And I praise God for that. Thank you. Thank you.